Well, it's a special day for, for Tony Brown, and I think he'll be thrilled that, uh, that you've come down to see him. What, what, does, what, what are your memories of Tony Brown? Well, to be fair, I think so, as somebody uh, mentioned just recently that uh, if Tony Brown was playing today, how much would he be when they're talking about 20 million or 30 million? This, the type of player he was, he, he was the uh, most fantastic player and scored unbelievable goals as well. And more or less his career was at West Brom for a good part of his life. Then he went to America or wherever. You know, but yes, uh, a truly fantastic player. And the statue will, uh, I'm sure he'll be very, very proud of uh, that. And well done to West Brom for doing that. You've had a, a statue or two in your time, so you'll know how he's, he's feeling about now. Well, about it. it's really nice, isn't it? You know, you, you just really, you, you don't think of things like this. A statue there for really, you know, soldiers, kings, queens, whatever. You don't think of that. Uh, and so, you know, you come from a working class background and uh, when you're 15 or whatever, and all of a sudden, many, many years later, there's a statue, so yeah. Very proud, really. He, he speaks uh, very often about you as, as being his, his inspiration. As a kid. He, was a, he was a United supporter, but he used to come to Main Road just to watch you. Right, so okay, yeah. He didn't tell me that when we played against each other, right enough. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't give me any of that, no. He, he, uh, he stole his celebration from you, so. Well, I think, I, I don't know where, I, I was asked many times, you know, where, where, where did that come from? And I only, the only uh, place I could really think of is when I went to Italy. And of course the Italians, without their hands, they can't speak anyway, can they? So I must have picked it up there. It was just, you know, whatever. So yeah, Emb embarrassing to uh, have people say that you're my hero, really. It yeah. is. You must have played against him many, many times at, at Old Trafford and, and at the Hawthorns. Certainly. What, what sort of games do you Well, remember? I think West Brom in that particular time anyway, they had really a very, very good team and some exceptionally good player so it was uh, it was I, as you know yourself the game has changed drastically uh, as we go through the years uh, where it was mainly was British players really wasn't it where you're from whatever Ireland Wales Scotland or in England it was uh, well, and it was just it was a game that you played and you were very happy to be sort of, this was your li livelihood to get paid for something that you really enjoyed doing anyway. So uh, it, was, it was a special time and uh, there were so many good teams and very few teams won the title for a second year if they'd won it because there was always another team coming up. So change these. It, it is extraordinary when you look at that Manchester United team, best Lord Charlton and you didn't win the title the way that the current United team is. And, and teams like Albion beat you, dare I say, here yes. six one time. Yeah, absolutely, yes. And, and really it was uh, one of those that, uh, yeah, as I say, teams didn't win titles three or four or whatever. It was just uh, every now and then you would maybe come through and there was always a team coming through. And I've always said anyway in, in the game of football, and even today really, if you don't battle, I don't care who you're playing, if you don't battle for 90 minutes, you can get turned over quite easily. And it's not, you know, most games are, you get, you get exceptional games, but you get most games as like 1-0, 2-1, 3-2. There's only, you know, a goal difference in many of the games where one team could be up here at the top in one near the bottom. So I've always said that. You've got to battle for where you're going to get. Obviously, Tony's... Um I guess his trademark was uh, was his volume, which uh, I mean, I, I guess as, as a team coming to play against the Albion, you were always kind of wary of, of him either getting the ball on the volley or, or taking a free kick. Yeah, well, th that was he was a d definitely a different goal scorer to if if I mine was uh, I, c I couldn't reach that distance. It was a more or less two yard or three yarder, you know. That was inside the six yard box. That was my uh, distance. That anything outside, Tony would be the one to give a good whack or whatever, no. Couldn't even cross it that far. People talk about, um, you know, for youngsters who, who didn't see Tony play, trying to, t to talk about people in the modern game. A lot of people mention Paul Scholes. I mean, do you yes. see a, a sort of comparison? Uh, well, certainly one of the best players that played at Manchester United. And if, uh, if Tony Brown is 
sort of associated with that type of player then, as you well know, exceptional good player and an exceptional player to have in your team. One that you know has got to battle for the whole 90 minutes, get you so important goals, just do his job really in that uh, you can't get any higher on that and Paul Scholes is in that category as well. And you had a, an unbelievable goal scoring record. Tony scored 279 goals. I mean, what is it? What is it about people like you that makes you so hungry to score another one and another one? And I don't, another one? Well, I really don't know. I don't know where where that came from. I think it was just the fact that uh, we enjoyed playing football and uh, there was nothing more more enjoyable than scoring a goal if you can. But <laughs> the goal scorer will only score goals in a team who play together, and that is what uh, I remember. My two managers, uh, Bill Shankly and uh, so Matt Busby, uh, that was, it's a team game uh, and I got of course a lot of uh, praises put on the goal scorer and forgetting the guys who do the job behind them and in the middle of the park. So the whole game about uh, football is it's not an individual game and you do have individuals who are exceptionally good players but it's a team game as well so without these guys you wouldn't be scoring goals. Just sort of finally to, to sum up Tony Brown for, from uh, the point of view of an opponent, I mean, what was it about Tony Brown that, that makes us today building well, statues to? Well, there are, there are players that you, even when now watching a game, there are players who you know inside that box or outside the box is a fair chance they're going to score goals. You get the same guy doing, another guy doing in the same position and you don't panic. It's just something that these guys... My favourite goal scorer was not Tony Brown, it was Jimmy Greaves. Not the best player, but one of the best goal scorers. And every time that Jimmy Greaves would get it, like Tony, in that area, you just have a fear. Oh, he's going to, didn't always score, but you always knew that he would at some stage, and Tony Brown was the same.